Okay, it's the end of uh, March uh, 2015. Video with my uh, worm bin. I researched a uh, good bit on YouTube's and internet and see what would work for me. And this is what I came up with. It's uh, made out of uh, two by twelve non-pressure treated lumber. And what I did was get a uh, full sheet of plywood and cut it lengthwise. Uh, half of it would be on the bottom. And the other half, which you see standing there, would be the, is going to be the top. Um, this has worked well for me. I've looked at a lot of different ways to do this, and this works for me. I like the height. I see that I've got it sitting on two concrete blocks, and it is framed on the bottom with two by fours to make it a little sturdy. But it's worked well for me, and uh, I'll probably be building others in a, so I can. Uh, Get a good bit of compost, uh, castings. Uh, the garden area is pretty big, and this has worked out pretty good. I do have a question for someone, maybe help me out. Uh, let me show you when I lift the cardboard up. <clears throat> See all those beetles. I'm wondering if that's an issue that I need to be worried, concerned with, or are they just part of the process. And there should be, there we go again, probably as many beetles as all worms, but they're all worms. Right, there you go, there's the worm bed. I'm getting ready to feed them again, and like I said, it's about eight feet long. Two feet wide and 12 inches deep. Uh, got it about 32, uh, excuse me, about 16, 20 inches high, which makes it easy to want to bend over so much and uh, easy to harvest. All right, there you go. This one bin. Thanks for watching.